Now we can use our vector 3 to define something more than just a position. We can define it more than just a position in local space or in world space. A vector 3 in local space could be defined as a direction. So how do we do that? So if I'm the cube and I'm sitting at 0, 0, and then I said to myself, I want to look, I want to look at vector 3, 4, and 0 on the up, and 4 forward. So if I told my cube to look in that direction, where would that direction be? So let's put our sphere at 4, 0, 4. Okay, so looking at a vector 3 as a direction, we're saying our cube, okay, from where our forward, from where we are, look at 4, 0, 4. So our cube, do that. Okay, so that's a vector 3 as a direction. See, that's just working in local space when you're using direction. Okay, this is in relation to our cube. So if I said to my, if my cube was sitting at, say it's 10, it's even up in the air a little bit, and 5 back. And then the same thing, if I said to my cube, look in a direction of 4, 4. So let's just place that there. 4. See that? In relation to itself, in local space, vector 3 can be a direction. Now if we look at world space, see? That is the real world location of that look vector. But in relation to us, we are assigning a direction. How can I show you more examples of that? Let's write up some modifications to our script. Remove that from the sphere. Put the vector 3 example on the cube now. And let's go and edit this with some more information. So first we had a world space. And we had a local space definitions for our direction, for our positions. Now we're going to look at direction. I'm going to be moving the sphere around in relation to the cube. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to typecast it to the transform component of that sphere. And similarly as above, our position is going to be set there. Okay, so if I was the cube again, just to bring it back, okay, we haven't assigned the Sphere. Better drop the sphere in the inspector, otherwise it is going to break. So now, I'm telling my cube, my sphere, to go to a direction in relation to my cube. Okay, so if I told my cube to look at a vector of 404, then indeed, that is the direction in relation to the cube. So that's vector 3 as a direction as well as a position. And how can we use that? Now I mentioned the direction because this will come in quite handy when starting to play with rotations. So as I told my cube to look in that direction, you see it has rotated. So how can we do this through script?
back to the script reference. Okay, we have transform position and local position. We have some rotations here. We also have some pre-assigned vector threes that are a direction. Okay, so we have right, up, forward. So these are more examples of how we can use vector three as a direction in relation to a game object. Actually, let's cover that a bit further first. So if I said my sphere position was vector three forward. Vector three forward. What's that going to give us? So I hit play. And there is our pre assigned direction vector three forward. You see it's given us look at our sphere. It's given us a position of zero on the X, zero on the Y, but one on the Z. So in world space, the forward is in relation to these world space axes. Now we can actually multiply this out too. Let's just multiply this by by let's see how that affects things. When we hit play. There's our vector 3 forward in world space. Because we've multiplied our vector, 5 times 0 is 0 in those cases, but 5 times 1 is 5. So there is our world space vector. So it's a direction, but we're assigning the position to that direction. It's in world space. What if we want to work in local space? What if we want to make this in relation to the cube? So the cube we'll use the cube's transform. Now let's see how this affects things. At the moment, our cube is looking in the same direction as our world space axes. So if I run that. Our sphere is sitting at the transform forward of the cube. Now watch as I rotate the cube. Okay. So by saying transform instead of vector three, we're talking about a local space. So in relation to the cube, see? We're talking about the forward of the cube. The cube is facing that way, it's facing in that direction. So the direction of the transform forward of the cube is not the world space, it's the local space. Okay? So that's a vector 3 as a position and as a direction. In local space or in world space.